Did you know in Megamind, the marketing campaign for the film set a Guinness World Record? Will Ferrell gathered his friends and acquaintances at a superhero costume party to promote the film. He invited all wannabe superheroes to suit up and join him for a party on October 4, 2010, just a month before the film's opening. With 1,580 costumed attendees, Farrell and his friends made hero history, breaking the old record by 79 superheroes and setting a Guinness World Record for largest gathering of superheroes. Did you know in Assassin's Creed, most of the stunts were shot on camera without the use of CGI? Approximately 80% of the film, actually. This actually means that one of the stunts in the movie is the highest freefall by a stuntman in almost 35 years. Damien Walters did a freefall that lasted almost 3 seconds with an impact speed of 61 miles per hour. The height of the fall was 125 feet. Did you know an interview with the vampire, The Vampire Chronicles? The makeup process was complete overkill and potentially harmful. The actors who played vampires were required to hang upside down for up to 30 minutes at a time during the makeup application. As a result, all the blood in their bodies would rush to their heads, causing the blood vessels in their face to bulge out. Once the swollen veins became visible, the artists would then trace over them, creating an eerie, translucent look. The process was repeated several times for each actor, because the blood would quickly drain from their heads. This in part accounts for the lengthy and inconvenient makeup process. Did you know in Poltergeist, Oliver Robbins was almost choked to death? In the scene where Robbie's being strangled by the clown, Oliver Robbins was actually choking. When he screamed out, I can't breathe, Steven Spielberg and Toby Hooper thought the boy was ad-libbing and just instructed him to look at the camera. When Spielberg saw Robbins' face turning purple, he ran over and tried to remove the clown's arms from Robbins' neck. Luckily, Spielberg managed to pry the clown's arms off of Robin before things got too serious. Did you know in The Northman, there's a connection to a specific Norse myth. During the movie, we see the sorcerer holding onto a preserved human head. In the actual myth, Odin's teacher was decapitated by his rival gods, and Odin decided to pickle his teacher's head. He then reanimated it with magic, and his teacher was able to continue teaching him even while being dead.